The use case for HCI is mainstream today, and its use case is largely understood. As we move into the next iteration or phase of HCI, every vendor is out to stamp their mark or thought leadership as to what HCI 2.0 should or would look like. Let's look at what we can expect in the near future for HCI and my opinions on it. As always, if this content is something that you enjoy, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell. It also helps me build future content if you leave your thoughts in the comments below. As many would know, HCI is a combination of compute and storage, and every node addition comes with both increments of CPU and storage. And as more and more data centers go converge, they are realizing that sometimes storage grows much faster than compute in certain scenarios. So the ask by some is that, HCI systems will need to have the capability to grow storage independent of compute. In the recent time, many vendors have stepped up and claimed that this is the basis of how HCI 2.0 will be like. Then they just have the solution for it. It's called DHCI or Disaggregated HCI. So for those who are not aware of what DHCI is, it's essentially like what I mentioned. Compute and storage completely disaggregated. But hang on a minute. Does this sound extremely familiar though? You're right if you're thinking traditional tree tier or the sand. And it is by no coincidence that the vendors that are often championing this HCI 2.0 are providers of legacy sand. Without going into depth, many solutions I've seen of DHCI were largely repackaging traditional systems with a new chassis and potentially a vSphere plugin. Voila! And there you have it old wine in a new bottle. Some were a little bit more upfront, drafting up white papers acknowledging that, you know what, we all acknowledge HCI is great, but you know what makes it better? Complement it with traditional sand. Now you get the best of both worlds. I have a lot more appreciation for the latter approach, to be honest. At least they are really trying. I do agree that there has been use cases where storage have exponentially grown faster than compute. I also believe that HCI continues to mature, features and capabilities will be introduced to better optimize capacity and potentially consume or consolidate external storage as well. But I would like to think of this as an extension to current capabilities or an adaptation to real world needs, but I wouldn't go as far as to think at this as 2.0. Here are my thoughts though on what HCI 2.0 should look like. While features and capabilities on HCI continues to evolve, what started off as compute and storage, in my opinion, 2.0 should now include network. With these three components, HCI 2.0 will look like a full stack HCI. Think of it as a true hyperconvergence of all three layers, compute, storage, and network. For the longest time, some have debated that network virtualization is complex, it's cumbersome and not feature rich. But if you remember the early days of HCI, it was similar pushbacks. Some of the discussions include performance discussions saying that there is no way uh, a server with some drives will outperform a SAN. Obviously, 10G networks, 2500G networks and flash drives changed that discussion point. And I think in the same way as Software Defined Network or SDN is slowly becoming mainstream, this should naturally be integrated into HCI. Like how software revolutionized storage, it will do the same for networking. For example, you used to deploy a firewall the perimeter. Now you can deploy a firewall on each and every NIC that is virtualized. Not only does that up the security levels, it costs close to nothing additional. So what do you guys think? I'll be interested to know your thoughts in the comments. Why do I feel so strongly about the future of HCI being a full stack? Two reasons. Firstly, the rise of application and DevOps space. Everyone is talking about containers, Kubernetes, and applications. Um, enterprises today are exploring how best to run, build, and manage applications and its respective platforms. Infrastructures like compute, storage, network, while it's important, admins just want it to work and adapt accordingly. The simpler, the easier, the better. The shallower the learning curve, the better. All this so they can redirect their focus and concentration on the needs of the applications and how to build a more cohesive DevOps environment. HCI fits in nicely here because we all, all know that HCI in general 
is built of simplicity and ease of use. HCI 2.0 is a perfect fit for the future of DevOps. Second, the adoption of public cloud. What has public cloud adoption anything to do with this? Public cloud is not the answer to everything, unlike the earlier narratives that suggest that either you're all in or you're all out. Many will also agree that a hybrid cloud approach, a combination of on-prem and public, is a better approach and not only must it be hybrid, it should also be multi-cloud as much as possible. With multi-cloud, the question of cloud mobility comes into question. Cloud mobility is challenging and it is not a simple migrating workloads onto different clouds as different cloud providers run different platforms and different configurations and the like. So how would HCI 2.0 potentially address this? For example, the VMware's 2.0 strategy is through VMware Cloud Foundation or VCF. It is what we call a full stack HCI offering that is used by all VMware Cloud providers today, such as the likes of VMware on AWS, uh, Google, uh, Azure, or even Alibaba. Those VMware platforms are deployed consistently across that three components via VCF. With consistency, you can easily migrate workloads from on-prem to say an AWS, bring it back on-prem and push it out again to say Azure or Google. Um, apologies as I can only speak to the tone of Cloud Foundation because I'm most familiar with it, but the high level idea is as such. And if any providers adopt a similar approach, they will be well prepared for the next wave as well. To sum it all up, I truly believe that the future implementation of HCI 2.0 or 3.0 or 4.0 is beyond just storage and compute. Any players still harping on point capabilities without addressing the larger requirements will largely continue to play catch up. Again, as always, I'd like to know what you guys think. Do leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts. And with that, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys again soon.